Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. Today we have what's potentially going to be the most exciting video that I'm going to post this year or perhaps for a couple of years. If you've seen some of my older videos, whether you've been here before or seen some of my older blog posts, you may know that I've been working on a specific book for a while now. But after five years and five full drafts, it's finally done. So I'm very pleased to announce that my second novel is called Paper Forests and it's coming out in May 2022. Um, hello from the future. I kind of lied about the release date. I originally planned to have it out on 17th of March, but then I didn't bear in mind that although the book was done, I wouldn't have time to promote it because it's my final uni deadline around that time. So I didn't take that into consideration when I picked the release date, but now I have a new release date, which will be June 21st. <laughs> And that will be when the book comes out, hopefully in all formats, everywhere, everywhere. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. I'm not going to say a huge amount about it now because I've spoken about this book a lot in the past and I'm currently working on like updated versions of these posts and these videos. One thing I will say though is that writing this book and finally finishing it felt a lot like pulling apart my heart and just dumping it on the page and leaving it there for someone to pick apart. I was the only one reading it for a long time, yet I still felt so incredibly vulnerable. It was worth it. And now here I am, the author of two books. First one's here. Two books soon. I want to hold this side. So like little baby seven-year-old me is so happy right now. One thing I will say about Paper Forest is that you may have seen these in the background before. I used to write on a website called Mavellas, which was like in the Wattpad Quotev, not quite as high as A3, but in like Wattpad region. And they did yearly fan voted like their versions of like the Oscars or awards show. So in 2017, I won um, Mavella of the Year for Paper Forests. So this is a good book. <laughs> Saying that my main credentials are fanfiction websites is not very promising, but I promise you something was good. I think it's time for a little Q&A segment for the video. No one's asked questions because no one knows that this is happening. So this is just me going to ask myself what I think are some key questions and then answering them for you. Question number one is obviously, what's the title? I know I said it, but it is Paper Forests and it's inspired by the scrapped concept for Michael Caravance's fifth album, which I believe is going to be called The Paper Kingdom, which is also a wonderful sequel title. Paper Forests has no relation to John Green's Paper Town. It is up there, you can't see it. But it does have the kind of concept of a paper town in there, but no relation, no relation. You may be asking, why is this familiar to me? a keen observer of your YouTube channel and your blog. <coughs> you may have a very vague memory of me talking about this project a lot every time I decided to work on it and then abandon it for a while and then work on it again. This would have been 2017 as one, maybe 2017, end of 2017, start of 2018, around that era. I made a lot of posts about the work in progress stages of the book, which is what I will be remaking soon with up-to-date information and also just as a nice comparison of how far this book has come in five years. Maybe asking, is this book a sequel to your first book, Beauty and the Breakdown? Um, no. Short answer, no. As much as I want to write a sequel to this book, and I potentially will someday, and I have ideas for it someday, it's, it's nothing to do with this one. <laughs> Paper Forest is currently a standalone set in its own universe and it may have a sequel one day. I'd love for it to be a trilogy, but I'm currently writing and working on it for it to stand as a standalone. Because as I am self-published, I don't have the promoters and the money and the, the big publishing people who would put this book out to an audience and have there to be a demand for a sequel. So it's basically down to if I choose to, and I would love to, but we'll have to see how life goes in the next few years and if I can justify doing so. Another question you may be asking is, do you have a favourite between your books now? I will say that I love them both dearly and they're so personal and represent such significant parts of myself in different times of my life. So they're always going to have a special place in my heart. But at the moment, Pable Forest is my favourite because it's a representation of my current self and it's my best work to date. And also I'm attracted to shiny and new things and I like blue. You may be asking, what's with the blue? Short answer, I spent so many months on Pinterest making the board for this book and I got sick of looking at green forests and green trees and green. Which is why I chose to wear green today. 
And finally, you may be asking, is this happier or sadder than Beauty and the Breakdown? I think in many ways it's just as sad, but because the plots and the things that happen in this book are so different, they're different kinds of sad. Um, Paper Forest experiments with some darker themes, like it's mostly, it's more the mental health side of darkness and there's monsters and there's magic, but I made a conscious effort to include more lighter moments in this book, mostly for balance, to show that there is potential for goodness in a world that's so bad, and also to emphasise how bad the bad is when you know that there can be good. So I think that's all I want to say for this little video today. May 2022, I can't wait to welcome you to the paper forests. Bye.